Mannheim, and welcome to the Viking Vision. Today is Tuesday, April 5th, 2022. It is a day D, and the specials are music and art. What day is it? Today is National Caramel Day. Mrs. Davis, how do you say caramel or caramel? I do say caramel, but I feel like caramel is very fancy. So I might say like a caramel apple, but I think I say caramel. I don't Oh. Yeah. And now when I think about it too much, I almost like think how I really do say it. Maybe you have the same thing. National Caramel Day is on April 5th, and we are super duper happy to celebrate this wonderful pleasure, inciting a treat in the best way possible, making it and eating it. Caramel has been with us for hundreds of years, layering, flavoring, and making our snacks and food sweeter with its addition. On this holiday, we celebrate its addition to our tasty desserts by savoring its delectable taste, sharing it with family and friends, and going all out to make a caramel dish out of a famous recipe. Whichever way you choose, make sure it's a sweet one. Mrs. Davis, is there one way you like to eat caramel? I love See, caramel apples. What? Yep, from the, like, going to the carnival, getting a car. now I said a caramel, caramel apple. Um, yep, no, definitely my favorite. I'd prefer caramel apples over candy apples. All right, and I love to have caramel in my coffee flavoring. Oh, yes, you so do. Yep. I sure do. Enjoy some caramel today. <laughs> Our big idea this month is hope. Most important things in the world have been accomplished by these who, by those who have kept trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Can you think of any examples from history when someone kept going despite not not seeing how it would turn out? The people who worked for NASA when they tri were trying to get to the moon. The men and women who fought for equality during the civil rights era. And even the doctors and nurses who treated sick patients during the COVID crisis all had to hold on to hope to accomplish something great. Hope is believing that something good can come out of something bad. All right, friends, it's time for Talk Show Tuesday. This week, we have a question from Natalie in fourth grade. Um, our question is, what does Mrs. Mertz do in her free time? Let's find out. Hi, Mrs. Mertz. Hi. So I first off have to ask you, do you say caramel or caramel? I say caramel. Caramel. See, now I'm thinking about it too. We were talking, Mrs. Amos and I were saying, when we say caramel, when we think about it too hard, we say it both ways. I think sometimes I might say it both ways also. Most of the time, Caramel, though. Yes. Okay. okay. Well, anyway, the reason we're here today is because Natalie in fourth grade had a question for you. Okay. She wants to know what does Mrs. Mertz do in her free time? Oh boy, what little free time I feel like I have. I love to take my dogs for walks, and I do enjoy watching movies in the winter time. But normally, I'm outside gardening if it's in the summertime. What kind of gardening do you do? Like flowers or food? I'm more flowers. Flowers. Yeah, okay. definitely. Well, thank you, Mrs. Mertz, for answering that question for now. You're welcome. Don't forget to be a star today, Mannheim. Strive to do your best. Take responsibility for your actions. Always be safe and respect people and property. Make today a wonderful Tuesday, Mannheim. Mannheim.